Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. Hanging out here today with Zach. Hi, Zach. You can say hi. You got a mic on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Heavy Industries Lab. Today we're continuing our series of equipment autopsies. This is Project Kevin. It is a KUKA robot. Um, it is a 1988 vintage. Its model is a 662-100, and it's 2,100 kilograms of fun. But it's an antique. We have no need for it as it is, and it's just chock full of really cool parts that we want to turn into other projects and use for demonstrations and all kinds of stuff. So we're going to take it apart. That's our project today. We're taking this into as many little pieces as we can. And we're going to save anything interesting, put them all on the big white table after we're done making all these videos. And we're going to go through all the pieces and show you what they do and all the cool stuff. We're not going to talk about you know big clunky metal bits, but various bits and pieces of this, like the, the head unit, is filled with all kinds of really cool gears and splines and we're just going to look at this and explore it and see how it works and just get into it. That's the whole idea. We're just doing this for fun. So follow along and uh, Zach and I are going to have some snappy patter as we do this and we'll try and keep people from falling asleep and we're just going to take a robot apart. All right. Cool. All right. Let's get to work. Now the first project is to try and get this arm off. We got we to see if we can get that apart. And to do that, we need to be able to move the robot. Right now, it's all folded up. And this whole set here goes forward. And we're trying to be able to make that happen by taking off enough pieces until we can move it. So the big problem right now is the motors. And we've got the motor mounting bolts out. So I've got to see if I can get these popped apart. And I think if I can pop that Lovejoy connector, I can do it. So that's where we start. So I'm going to let you work on the things up there. And I'm going to see if I can get some space in here and make this motor move. Hey, Zach. Yeah. That motor's going to fall off. Really? Yeah. So I should probably watch my toes. You should watch your toes. See? Motor fell off. Motor fell off. Good call. Well, that makes life easier. All right, let's see if I can get this one off. Watch yourself. All right, let me uh, stand. Yeah, over. you, you want to not have a foot under that. Okay, that, that made a hole. Okay, that, that motor is moving. You got it? Yeah, that did it. Hang on. Let's it's uh, it hung up against the... Oh, the thing? Just grab it, lift it out of there. It weighs like 50 pounds. There you go. All right, there's two big gnarly stepper motors and brakes out of the way. All right, just slide those over there. And uh, we have the other half of a Lovejoy connector here. But at this point, if we're clever, we can turn these wheels and move the robot forward. So let's turn the wheel and see what happens. Nice if we had a fork or something to show in there. Yeah. It'd also probably be nice if we knew which way to turn it. <laughs> well, you know, we could always say righty tidy left of Lucy. In but theory. It's, it's probably not made, but yeah. I'm guessing it's because those are rather impressively sized motors. You're going down. I'm going, I'm going out. I'm moving it. I stopped moving it. Yeah. <laughs> I think we both have to turn. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> turn faster. <laughs> I wish I could. Come on, man up. Get your man card punched, or whatever they say. Yeah. I did that. Oh, I'm moving. Ah! Yeah, you gotta move, and then I gotta move. It's a partnership. Robot's moving here. But we do have a concern. Hmm. If we go too far, we might kick the balance. Yeah, you need to move yours. Um, now, hang on a second. Mine's moving the whole assembly out. Well, and we took that off, so we can't... Uh... No, that just turns the end effectors on here. You might need to go the other way. You need to come back this way. All right, let me try it. And that'll extend the arm out. I gotta switch sides, hang on. Yep, you need to go the... Uh, yeah, if you go backwards, the arm should come, like, up, parallel to the floor. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I can turn this by hand. You know it might be easier? Hmm. Hook the forklift to it? Yeah, hook sling around the end of it, right with the forklift. That's, that's probably what an intelligent and rational individual would do. <clears throat> I'd stick the fork in the end of the hole. Yeah, we don't have anything to grab it on. I was going to say, and I have no All idea right. how to do it. Do you want to hold forklift. this and I'll do the forklift? Yeah, lock it. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna pull the wedge out here. Okay, go. I'm just gonna put a little tension on it. Okay, there's a lot of tension on it. Uh, actually, it was spinning the thing. Yeah? Well, yeah. You spin it. Don't all right, all right. Which way do you wanna go? Yeah, just yeah, turn that it with way. your hand. And when, when it starts coming back, then I'll give it a little more tension, but I don't wanna break the strap. Okay. Ah, shit, I'm still gonna have to use that. Because I'm, the thought of just putting a chain on there and reefing on the damn thing had crossed my mind, but that could be a bad idea. If you had uh, a wench or some ratchet straps, it would work. No, no, I'm thinking like big piece of chain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but it is, it is working. You're trying to use the brute force method. Yeah, I well, hey, every now and then brute force maintenance works. All right, we have slack in the thing. Here's a little another pull. Okay, go. Still have tension. Huh? I still have tension. No, nope. you do, no, 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 I'm good. Good. Yeah, I can see it moving. You get about a half inch, quarter inch on the tip every time you move it. Okay, I got tension. Can't be good for my sling. Keep following it. Yeah, I am. No, no, I mean like, follow it up. I am. I'm, I'm doing a little bit every time you go. That's tight. That, that's tight. <laughs> there you go. What'd you do? Hit an easy spot and I can just spin the damn thing? No, I was saying, follow it up. There you go. Oh, keep going, we're almost there. Ooh, there Whoa. it goes. Shit. Wow, it's moving out of tone. I was going to say, yeah, I, I have to keep my fingers out of there. You're going to twirl them yeah, off. Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't want to be too terribly close to that. You're good. Go. I'm clear. Yeah, it's just moving now. All right, so now it's just there under its own weight, and that's not too scary. So the can from there. now we take the shaft off the line. All right, we need a way to lock that in place. Uh, a random piece of scrap steel should do it. Okay. I'll go find one. Because if we can lock this in place, I can take the, the tension off that, mm -hmm. and we can sling it, and then just disconnect it and take it right off. Okay, just a second. All right, so that was our first step of the process, which was getting this disconnected, getting the motors off, and getting the arm up so that we can now disconnect the arm. And uh, we'll be back in the next video for actually taking off the arm. You guys have fun. We'll have more for you next time.